and welcome back to the channel on this video we're going to go for a ride on the aerial rider grizzly and let's talk about class 3 e-bikes and specifically about this uh, speed of a class 3 e-bike which is 28 miles per hour most states the legal speed limit for an electric bike is 20 miles an hour which is a class 2 and some states though are class 3 uh, states such as California for one and I've talked about this in the past but um, I want to talk about it again right now and that's about why not just making the class 3 the legal speed everywhere the whole country why have some states with a class 2 and some class 3 I say just make it class 3 across the board I think that would be great 28 miles per hour and we're talking on the street uh, using that kind of speed on a obviously on a bike shared bike path you will not be driving or riding at speeds of 20, uh, 28 miles per hour um, you should be more in the at the most probably 15 miles per hour because you are sharing that with pedestrians and other cyclists and uh, It gets pretty hard to open it up to those kind of speeds. But I have often wondered about this. Why not make it plus three, 28 miles per hour across the board? Also in Canada, make it 28 miles per hour. And if you've got any comments on the video what you think of that in agreement or or else not a, not agreeing let me know in the comments the reasons why you your thoughts on why you agree with it or why you don't agree with it I think if they make the speed up to 28 miles per hour if you're not comfortable with riding 28 miles per hour perhaps your bike won't even go 28 miles per hour then that's fine you ride whatever speed uh, you're comfortable riding and uh, for those who want to ride the a little bit faster like I'd be on, in that uh, category then let those folks ride 28 miles per hour I think 28 miles per hour is a pretty pretty good fair speed <clears throat> I mean there are instances or times when you're not even going to get it up to 28 miles per hour like right now I'm in an area here the speed limit back there just said 25 miles per hour well that's only a few miles per hour below 28 but still it's uh, slightly less at 25. Got a pretty cold wind out here right now. Uh, but yeah, I don't see any reason why we can't just bump it up from 20 to 28 and make it across the board, the country wide class three. Most e-bikes now can go pretty much that speed or very close, 24, 25 uh, 
or or 28 my red rover on a flat uh, will ride I think it gets up to maximum 24 and a half miles per hour so it's not going to quite do the uh, quite do the 30 or the 28 but it's close Well, I'd like to see it. I'd like to see it right across the board. And like I say, if you're not comfortable riding at those speeds, then just ride whatever speed you're comfortable riding and, and have fun doing it. There's one time for sure that I would not be riding at 28 miles per hour even if it was legal to do so and that's when there's uh, snow and ice on the road. Last year I remember in the winter riding and I've got a couple of videos where I rode in the snow and ice and you can't really get much above like 10 or 12 miles per hour. At least I didn't go beyond that. Uh, it's too, uh, too risky that you might go down. So let me know in the comments what you think about making it legal to ride plus three speeds of 28 miles per hour across the board in the U.S. and also uh, if you're in Canada. This guy's turning left. You're hearing the distinct sound of an aerial rider grizzly it's got that mm, and then if you uh, put the front motor on it's even louder And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. 
and until next time.